Hello. Hey, hey there we go. We're back. How's everybody doing tonight? It's Thursday Night Live. It is. And there's always an issue with Thursday Night Live. Give us a thumbs up so we can make sure that you guys can hear us. And then we'll go back up to the chat. Let's see. I need a thumbs up. I need a thumbs up from some. Can you hear us? Kristen, that was awesome. And see us. Can you hear and see us? Hey, Gail. Good morning. Hey, folks. My time. That was awesome. Rachel did win or come. Yes, it is. I'm great. Okay, there we go. So how's everybody doing? I'm Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. And we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch to talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. i got to move the computer. How is everybody doing? Welcome to our Thursday night live stream, live from the Tampa Fairgrounds, or it's the Florida State Fairgrounds at Tampa mm -hmm. parking lot. Yes, we're in a parking lot. Yes. As classy as we can get right now. Yeah, but we have electric, which we did not know we were going to have when we got here. We brought our generator and we got here and they're like, oh, no, 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 you're super special. We get to plug in. We're giving in. you electric. We, I feel like a pioneer. We get electricity. Yes. It becomes precious to you. What is something that you forget how precious it is until it's taken away? Yeah. Now, obviously, family... All of that stuff. That aside, because of course we know that. But what is something that you you don't have it for a little while, and then when you get it back, you're like, thank you, Lord. That is the super easiest in the world question to answer. Okay, what is that? You. Oh, can't it say is, family. That's sweet, but like you can't say family. It's not family. It's you. You're you're not family. You're my wife. And and does that make me family? No, because you're also me, right? Because we're joined as one. And okay. Like, yeah, I can't. I cannot live. Even a couple hours without Rachel. It, it's very upsetting. I think he's to trying me. to score some browning points no, right it's now. absolutely true. Okay, so besides me, what is something that when it's gone for a while and then you get it back, you're like, yay. Your phone. Something happens, you drop it. I scratched my screen today, and I don't know how. Because the glass screen protector broke. Look, you see that it's yeah. like scratched. We're and it's so good. bad. We're so good at scratching our phones. I don't understand. Yeah. I can't live without my phone. So we are at the Florida uh, Super Show, RV Super Show here in Tampa. It is huge. We have walked a total of 10 miles between two days, and we haven't even seen half of this show yet. How are there so many varieties of things? We've been inside a million dollar motorhomes. I would be really scared to drive something that costs a million dollars down the There's street. There's no way I'm driving that. There's so. no way I'm getting in it. And I just want to be clear because we have videos that are coming out. We got kind of a response from some people that were saying like, hey, don't don't lead people to like spend a, a ton of money and get themselves into debt. We never want that. Right. Ever. Yep. We don't believe in debt. So. Most of the videos are coming out on our other channel, on our camping channel, Two Crazy Campers. But if we see, if we show a fancy schmancy thing that we have absolutely no ability to like afford, we're not buying it. Right. We just think it's fun to like share it. I like looking at all of these things. Yeah. But we are walking around, and this is not good for you guys. <clears throat> we're walking around. And we're doing a vlog. We're doing video review videos of different campers and stuff like that and some nonsense stuff. But we're walking around and we're meeting people. And just anybody, we, we've met a couple of subscribers, some of you guys we've met. Yeah. And uh, we've met a few YouTubers and stuff like that. And we're asking everybody the question, if you go on a vacation for two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Away from home. What is the one item that if you forgot it... You would have to either go home to get it or go to the store and buy it. And this is not like medicine, okay? Everyone's like, oh, my medicine. No, no, no. We, we're going to throw that one out the right. window because that's like, of course. we're talking about like something that would help you on your camping trip or just a vacation or something that is super pleasurable. Like for Rachel, it's coffee a pot. coffee pot. If I don't have the coffee pot, we're either buying a new one or we're turning around and getting it. It was actually amazing how many people we met had that same response. And one couple we met, they're like, we own six coffee pots because I can't tell you how many times we've gone camping. At least on a six times. Pot. 
and we had to go buy a new coffee pot. Yeah. So let's see who's in here real quick. Okay, so bunch of people. Shauna is here. Hey, Shauna, Shauna is hey, Shauna. here. Heath is here. Hey, oh, Heath. Uh, Gail is here. Hey, Gail. Mommy is here. Hi, Vicky mommy. is here. Hey, Vicky. Um, let's see. Kim is here. Hey, Kim. Scooter Geek is here. Jennifer is hey, here. Liz is here. Hey, guys. Carla is here. Hey, Carla. Uh, Karen is here. Said hello to my wonderful keto family. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hey, Carmen Karen. is here. Here said hey, happy. Uh, hey, folks. Me time face mask on let's hope i don't drop my phone in the tub <laughs> oh yeah you need that tub time though tub christopher time is, is here hey christopher i know it's been a great winter came it has been cold here it has been so cold and and i'm a wuss we're right. learning that um i actually bought the little hot things that you hold in your hands yeah. You know what I'm talking about? They're like 75 cents at Walmart for two of them. And I've just had those in my pockets and have been walking around well, with them. Last night we went to a meet and greet for Matt's RV reviews. And, do, 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 do. and uh, we were there and he was having it in Tijuana Flats. Awesome, awesome guy. He bought all of his subscribers that were there. He bought them all Tijuana Flats. He had a giant buffet, a yeah. giant 100,000 subscriber cake. Very nice. And uh, he even paid for drinks for everybody. So yeah. super nice guy. But we were there. It started raining. Felt really bad. It was like 45 degrees. And finally, 45 after degrees and raining. two hours, we were like, uh, I'm it's a popsicle. time to go home. Like, I am cold. Yeah, it was freezing. We woke up this morning. It was cold. Rachel puts this jacket on. We get outside at 70 degrees about an hour later. Now she's like, can you carry my jacket for me yeah so i tied around my waist and this thing weighs a ton of course there was no animals harmed in the making of this like fake fur but yeah it's helpful when it's cold and it's kind of cold in the camper right now uh renee said cracking sound um I hope it's better shell said that that car that we reviewed was really cool it is amazing the ingenuity that they could put into a class B. Amazing. I mean, there is something for everybody. Yeah. Uh, Denise said, uh, hello, Joe and Rachel. Hello. Healthy Keto's here from Arizona. Show wants to know how is the RV show going? It's just a lot of fun. I mean, it, it's just cool to see all of the different things. But I'm getting very excited because we met some of you guys today at the show, and that was awesome. And I've also heard that a couple of you guys in the Tampa area may be coming. You don't have to be looking for you know, a camper, we could just hang out. Okay, so wait, we got some people telling us that we are breaking up. Uh-oh. It's not just you. I haven't gotten a message from Chris. That's kind of surprising. So... Can you hear us okay? Let's see what we can do about this. Air conditioning? Let's see. We are in the lowest definition possible. Here, check all the things. Air conditioning. Now, who is running back and forth on my keypad? Okay. So, let's see. The stream's going to stop for one second, but don't go anywhere. Yes. Okay. We're going to change over to a different internet service. See if it works. Okay, let us know if this is better. Can you hear us now? We tried a different internet connection. Let's Can we have see. a thumbs up? Is anybody still here? Anybody here? Um, Sound yes, is back. Is yes, stuff is awesome. Sounds like someone needs to come back to at and We were on better. at and Yeah. So, <laughs> what are we on now? We were on it. Right now, we are on T-Mobile. T-Mobile. So okay. shout out to T-Mobile. So, yep, we're back on, we're on T-Mobile. So let's see if that works a little bit better. 
and uh, we'll this, go everything else. This is why we pay for all of them. Yeah, we have Just all three everybody. internet services. So, yeah. okay, so anyway, let's go back up. Sorry about that, guys. Matre said for camping, the good lighters in the Dutch oven got to eat and have a heat. Okay. Yes. Shell said a pillow. Okay, so we actually one time went in the pop-up camper and we forgot the pillows and I did make Joe drive all the way home and get pillows because number one, I wasn't paying for pillows all over again because we need a bunch of pillows. Yeah. I got leg pillows and, and head pillows and I also, I want my pillows because they've got my body dents in them. So Miriam said my glasses, it would be hard without the glasses though yes. as long as I don't have to drive, I would be fine. Glasses. Liz said her phone charger. Yes, because the phone without the charger is just about useless. I forgot my teeth once. He did forget his teeth. <laughs> Five days, no teeth. Thank you, Keto Chow, for providing sustenance when Joe can't chew his food. Uh, Melody said her oil diffuser. She went to Myrtle Beach and had to buy one. And Shauna said another one is her coffee somehow. Yeah. Um, definitely coffee. Steph said coffee, bacon, Keto Chow, and butter. Oh, I've got to have all four. Yes. If I don't have butter, we've got to turn around. Uh, Miriam said, I think my phone I would go back to get. Yeah. I, I have definitely, like, a lot of times. Yeah. Um, I know one that, like, maybe whether you like it or not, you're going back. We did it We did it again today, which is our mask. We, like, started away from the trailer. We're almost to the I mean, entrance. that's the new thing, right? You and have we're to have like, a mask. the mask. And I don't know why I still even ever forget it. Why would I ever forget it? Right. Yeah? You know, like, I need to wear the buffs all the time. Mm -hmm. Then no matter what, I'm covered. I've, I'm always wearing it. And I don't mind it because it covers up my, my, my neck wrinkles. So Chris said, when we got a trailer, I finally figured out that I didn't enjoy camping as much as I should because I was so uptight about getting stuff packed trailer no problem that's why we literally have two of everything and so, actually some things we have more than two but everything comes in the camper it stays in the camper i get frustrated when rachel actually takes the sheets out to wash them because i'm well, we so terrified that the sheets aren't going to go back into the camper so now we bought a second set of sheets so one set comes out at least i know we have a backup set in here the, the goal is when we get home we wash whatever clothes and our sheets and all of that kind of stuff it's to immediately get put right back into the rv and i get all of my clothes from the thrift store anyway so like i've got you know ten dollars worth of clothes here in the camper and it just stays in there mm -hmm. you know i think i got this jacket for four dollars yeah so it's just we just keep it you know packed in here and we are we did bring keto chow we made um 15 keto chows yeah. before we left. We brought them all with us. Super easy. We do have our immersion blender with us and we have our butter with us. And uh, yeah, we're just eating keto chows. But it's been amazing. We've been like walking all day and our first meal hasn't been till five o'clock. Yesterday we had one keto chow all day. But isn't that always the case? If you're busy, you don't even notice. Bronson's going to kill me because I'm supposed to be eating 150 grams of protein a day. And I think, what is a keto chow, Chris? Like 28? <laughs> You need to work on it. It definitely wasn't good yesterday. I'm but, making up for it today. Yeah. But it's interesting that when we're busy, I'm not even thinking about food. Yeah. If you've got something to go and do. And I think that that is why even when you're home, you need to have something to look forward to in the day and not just be the food that you're looking forward to. It used to be that my entire life was consumed with what am I eating and when am I eating and just it was all about food. Yep. Speaking of teeth, I see Gail wrote, speaking of teeth, she just had her oral surgery Yes, done. how are you and doing, so Gail? she said she's doing keto chow and pureed soups. Hey, I mean, at least you know that you're going to get the nutrients that yeah, you need. Absolutely. Um, Miriam said she's glad that um, Gail is doing well. Steph said, can someone please tell Tim Jimmy he doesn't have to do shakes, but the chicken soup with keto chow base is fine. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So Chris said 26 to 28 grams of protein, depending on the flavor. So what Bronson wants me to do, because we're not eating regular food this month, what he wants me to do is three keto chows a day, plus each keto chow has to have three eggs into it, whether they're raw and just use that as the fat, or I make like our keto chow custard. Okay. But 
three three keto chows plus three eggs, which is nine eggs total per day, would give me 150 grams of protein a day. It's awesome. I just like the thought of raw egg. I can't even like I have to look away when we watch Rocky. You realize that you eat mayonnaise, right? I know, but it's you know it's, it's raw egg. I understand that, but like not in my mind. What's not in my mind. Not in my mind. But when I put it in a keto chow, you don't know it's a raw egg anymore. Um, again, do not Lion King this. Do not be like raw eggs in here because then I freak out. Uh. Christopher said, why would you not want to think about food? I love thinking about food <laughs> all the time. Food is so good. I actually really enjoyed your recent like question and answer section. Yes, that was great. With your son and your wife. That was so, so awesome. I just really enjoyed it. So it's funny. One of the goals that we actually have with having our camping channel is to hopefully bring some of the people in the camping RV world over yes. and introduce them to keto because we meet a lot of far, uh, full timers and stuff and- there's a lot of like eating fast food and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we want people to, you know, obviously get healthy. Well, there is this really cool YouTube channel that we uh, follow or we met and um, it's called the party of six. And they're actually Patreon members of five to go, which is how we met them. And here's the cool thing. They've got a thousand subscribers. Just get started. Six people, four kids, full time, in an RV. Four children full-time in an RV. So we were talking to, and we're going to actually be meeting up with them tomorrow to kind of do their story a little bit. The dad has lost 95 pounds on, on keto. keto. So that was so awesome. We're meeting a lot of people that are discovering keto. Well, because today it was it was especially memorable for me because my today, one of my, my I've been doing my 31 reasons why I'm sticking to keto. Um, and I was thinking about my dad. And so today was about my dad and how I miss him. Mm -hmm. And that you can see from the Instagram photo, I was following right in his footsteps, like really following behind him. And I don't want to follow his footsteps as far as like bad health choices, bad food choices. I want to follow his integrity and his character, his honesty and, and his, you know, fun loving spirit. But meeting this gentleman and hearing that here he is, he's, he's lost 95 pounds and he has four young children. And the thought that those kids are going to get to enjoy him from for years to come. Yes. That, that really makes my heart happy. And I want to help more families experience that. Yeah. So um, Jessica wants to know who is Bronson. Okay. Yeah. So Bronson is a trainer. Chris and Miriam work with them a lot. Yeah. And um, we actually met him last year at Omaha, and he's the same age as me. Is there a bat in my cave? No. No, we're good. Okay. No, that's another story. Yeah. Um, so uh, <laughs> so um, I've been talking to him lately, and so he we've begun doing training, and he does a lot of stuff for at home. If you did any of the seven-day uh, keto chow uh, kickstart program, yeah. he was the one who was doing all the training videos and stuff like that. And so- we're trying to get me more in shape. I'm never going to look like him, but never say never. I don't want to have these giant man boobs anymore either. They're hot. And so smoking hot. What we've been talking about is so he's putting me on a program. We're training every day, kind of like an at home CrossFit, but all stuff that you can do at home. So lots of burpees and sit ups and pull ups and and like I do have to get some kettlebells or something like that. But right now we're using resistant bands, and then we're working on my diet. But I'm not doing so much with him with the diet because I already know a lot about the keto lifestyle. A lot of his clients, he has to introduce to the keto lifestyle, but we're going to document this. You will see me doing some exercises and some videos about that. I'm so excited. Um, but we're documenting it, but we're starting off with um, eating protein. And it was an interesting thing that we were talking about and we are recording all of our stuff. I just got to get home and do the editing. But one of the things he said to me, I said, so where do you believe with counting calories, not counting calories like Dr. Barry, who we really respect says never count a calorie. And then you have like somebody like keto savage, who I also really respect, like really monitors every single bite that goes in his mouth. And Bronson talked about falling somewhere in the middle because the bottom, the, the biggest problem you have with Dr. Barry's method of not counting calories is, is a lot of us don't know what eating to satiation feels like. I am definitely like have a problem with that. So if you don't know what it, when Dr. Barry says, eat till you're comfortably full, well, what if you don't know what comfortably full feels like? What if comfortably full for you is, you know, 
55 ounces of a prime rib. Well, I'm sorry. You're not losing weight if you eat 55 ounces of prime rib. You're just not. It's like way too much fuel for your body. I, and you're going to get sick later. I can absolutely eat a staggering amount of food. Right. Like, I mean, you've seen me and Joe, like, go head to head on, on meals in the head past. Head to head, you beat me every single time. Every single time. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'm trying to figure out where is my actual satiation point like mm -hmm. where am i actually full i want to get in tune with that well one of the things he's having me do is we're tracking but we're not tracking calories so he wants me eating a minimum amount of 150 grams of protein per day mm -hmm. and then i cannot eat more than 150 grams of fat and he's like you're going to be surprised that you're probably right now eating a lot more calories when you start doing that than you even thought you would need. That you probably do need more calories, but it comes down to what are you eating. Right. And so, and he also wants to be down around 10 carbs, 10 to 15 carbs. He goes, now if you go up to like 20 carbs, it is to come off of the fat, not off of the protein. He's like, the protein, you need to eat that protein. He's like, that's your minimum amount of protein. Now, most people would scoff like, oh my gosh, that is like so much protein. But most of us are under eating our protein. And then you're having hair loss and you're having like losing muscle and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. I mean, I had terrible hair loss mm -hmm. when we first started because I was trying to get that, that point. And I mean, collagen has really helped too. Yeah. Um, Steph said, I did the egg yolk, the egg yolk raw in keto chow and it was really creamy. I just have to, it's kind of like, was it Christopher who was showing pictures of frog legs that he had cooked? Yes, it was. Oh my gosh. So I told Joe, I was like, is that frog legs on his plate? And Joe's like, yeah. And I bet it's totally delicious. And I thought to myself, I bet it is. It's just getting past my mind. I'm looking something up. With so. it being frog legs. Yeah. I, I think they looked really delicious. And Rachel's just like. I know they're um, prepared perfectly. No. I know that they're going to taste yummy. But I need to not know what that is. I was just. Let me grab this link real quick. Oh. In case anybody wants to follow the party of six. So this this is the, the, the family that we met. They have a brand new channel thousand subscribers they're they're basically documenting their full-time experience and again the dad has lost 95 pounds on keto it's called the party of six really excited chris said i think that rv show is hilarious you can come in an rv and look at rvs i think to me like the test of that like we made a good choice for us yeah was seeing all of these shiny beautiful rigs and i mean they're amazing but then coming back to our rig and being like we really like where we stay. We're actually, we spent today going through, we, we have what's called technically a couple's camper. Really not made for having guests. Right. And so we decided we're going to go through all of the RVs that are couples campers and see if we can find one that beats ours. And we haven't found one yet. No. I don't, and, and we're talking about ones that are like double and triple the price of ours. There's so, I mean, there is money to be spent. Yeah. Clearly. Absolutely. Uh, Caboodle said, yay, made a great evening. Shell said, I hate eggs and anything with an egg taste. Yeah. I, I mean, some people have a real aversion to eggs. And I actually know a couple people who started out eating so many eggs on keto, but then now they're like, I will eat anything but an egg. I just can't do any more eggs. I did too many eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I love eggs, so thankfully, I'm like Miriam. A fried egg makes me happy every single I time. I missed a comment here about 95 pounds, and that's what I was looking for. Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, Chris said, I'd be afraid to fall asleep too heavy sleeping in a body bag tent and be mistaken. <laughs> Uh, he said, can I hijack the life for a moment? I have Absolutely. 11 keto bricks that I can't eat due to allergies. Does anybody want to buy them? $5 each or all of them for $50 for more peanut butter and seven toasted almond coconut. There you go. That's a good deal. So, um, Liz said, since our family started keto, my kids praise my improved cooking. This morning they talked about tonight is change your life chicken. Makes me feel so good. That is so awesome. That is really encouraging. And I was actually talking to a young lady today that um, that we had met through Two Crazy Campers. But she was saying, hey, while I have you, can I ask you a little bit about, you know, the keto lifestyle? Which, of course, I'm excited to answer questions. And she was like, 
my kids are out of the house now and it's just me and my husband and what can I do because I don't want us to be, you know, eating separate meals. And I just sort of told her, you know, make your keto meals. And then if you have to make a little side dish for your husband, right. if that's what you have to do in order for you to get, you know, started, right. Just get started. And I told her, I'm like, you're going to have to discipline yourself not to eat that side dish that you're creating for your husband, but it's worth it. It's worth the effort. And I think that you can put in, you know, the resolve to just get started. Right. Uh, let's see. Shauna said, uh, dinner is lemon meringue, keto chow pudding, and high key lemon shortbread cookies. Love that it feels like cheating, but it's not. It's not. I love that. Liz said, since our family started keto. Oh, I read that one already. Um, Chad said, quick question hey, for you. I need a fatty dinner. Ooh. Uh, last night, checked my ketones, and it was 1.9. I did not eat or drink anything the next morning. Wow. I checked my ketones. They were 0.5. How is this possible? Uh, first of all, don't check your ketones in the morning. That That's number one. Um, so here's the thing. when you Sometimes when you eat too much, you may lower your ketones because the ketones that you're checking, that's the ketones that are floating around in your blood. Those are extra the ketones. The leftovers. So- what will happen is, is your body doesn't have to produce a whole bunch sometimes. So, you know, especially if you're higher in like the amount of food you're eating, you'll have lower ketones. You're still operating on fat, but your body is immediately going from that fat right to fuel instead of having to go through this whole extra process. But don't check your ketones in the morning. In the morning, you're generally going to experience the dawn phenomenon, which means blood glucose is going to be up. And whenever your glucose is up, your ketones are normally going to go down. So we always tell people, I recommend testing it like midday mm -hmm. before your meal. Yes. You know, and then always test at the same time. If you test after a meal, usually they're going to be lower. And if you test after exercising, they're usually going to be lower. Because you used up some of them guys. Yep. Um, okay. So, okay. So they're, they're talking about the keto break. Shauna said, this is why I'm doing keto. I want my son to grow up with me and my daughter to have me around longer. Yes, we need you around longer. I'm so glad that you're doing this. Yeah, Chris just posted the video from Chad, which, um, where we ate ground beef, right? We ate a full, just, I mean, you couldn't get more keto than that it's meal. Like beef and, and eggs. And our glucose went up, right? And our ketones went down. Our ketones and it, went like, down. it made no sense. And that's why we always talk about people like, you know, they said they that this food kicks, kicks me, me out, out of, of ketosis. ketosis. Anything you eat is usually going to lower your ketones, you know, immediately. And it's you really need to check like three and four hours later. But again, three and four hours later, and then in the morning, that usually is definitely going to become an issue. And you want to check your glucose. Yeah. Yeah. Most importantly, that's the glucose. That's the one yeah, to worry about. That's the one to check. Carmen said keto chow with eggs. Ew, but I bet it's still pretty palatable. Wonder if a shake regimen would help me get back on track. Wonder if store-bought protein would do the same thing except taste good. So the thing about keto chow, keto chow is basically your protein powder, but the, what makes it different is that Chris is adding in all of the vitamins and nutrients, the electrolytes that you need. So one shake is a third of all of the nutrients that you need. Go into the store. You can buy cheaper protein powders, yeah. obviously, but they're not going to have all of those nutrients and the vitamins. And that's where the difference comes in. And you don't want to have more than three keto chows a day because then you're going to be in having too much of those vitamins or minerals and things. But like we've that. tried, I can't even think of like all of the protein powders that we've tried. Yeah. We've tried a bunch of we've them. We tried tons of them. Um, let's see. Let's... Sarah says, hello everyone. Christopher said, I have no idea when I'm full. That's why I count all of my macros. I need data. My full switch is broken, which is what Bronson has said to me. He said, a lot of people's full switch is broken. So that's why that's he talks about term. you actually, he wants you to track your, your grams. Don't track calories. You track your grams. And then that will help teach you where you're full. So eat the amount of like grams of protein that you're supposed to eat. And what you're going to find is, and then start kind of documenting. This is how I feel after this 30 minutes later, an hour later, and then you'll start to learn, okay, that's how much I'm supposed to eat. It's interesting because we don't always think about like journaling something like that and mm -hmm. just like getting our thoughts out, our feelings 
And I mean, I think it's just a really good thing. And, and it's very important for us to do it with food because that is been such a big part of our life. So I think you do need to, even if you write down before a meal, when yeah. you're planning for the day, what are your thoughts right. about like what you're going to prepare? And I would, I like to know why am I all of a sudden hungry at noon and my plan is at two o'clock? Why am I trying to like sab sabotage my, my meal plan? What, you know, what's going on with my eating window? It's okay to just sit down and kind of write your thoughts out about yeah. it and, and then just review back over the week. How did things change once you got it out? Right. You know, even if you're preparing a certain meal or it's a, it's a time of the year, write down, what are you thinking about? when you're planning your meals and, and planning your grocery lists and preparing your food, what are your thoughts after you eat? What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Steph had um, a, a great workbook that she shared with people, gave away three of them during our 12 days yep. of keto. And I'd love to know what's going on with that. What, right. are, what is some of the things that you're finding out about yourself because you're writing this stuff down? Yeah. Uh, so Catherine said, I have been on keto for two months. I was feeling so happy down 15 pounds. I got my blood work results and my LDL is elevated and I am bummed. Has this happened to anyone else? Okay. So first of all, let's, let's start this off with, we are not doctors. We're no. not nurses. We're not any kind of health professional. Pigtails. I'm a grown woman. <laughs> I cannot be a doctor. So we, um, we're not any kind of health professional. We can only tell you our experiences, what we have read, what we have learned from being on this, coming into my fourth year and speaking to people with Dr. Barry. Um, first of all, I highly recommend that uh, go research and read some of Dave Feldman's stuff. Yeah. Um, he's going to talk a lot about this. Uh, also, go over to AD Keto, or High Fat, High Fun. He's got two videos, one from when he first started because he, his doctor went on statins and also what his cholesterol and stuff looks like now. The biggest thing I'm going to tell you, my personal opinion, and again, we're not a doctor. Don't take this as any medical advice. And what Dr. Barry has told me, don't worry about your LDL. What you want to worry about is your triglycerides. Okay. Like your LDL may go up, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. There's actually two kinds of LDL. There's LDL-A and there's LDL-B. You want a high amount of LDL-A and a very low amount of LDL-B. And most doctors and most places are not going to specifically check for that unless you ask them. Yeah. So that's something you might want to ask your lab to do is tell you what is your LDL-A. Also, what you might want to look, take a look at your remnant cholesterol. So take your total cholesterol and then take your LDL-A and your LDL and your HDL add them up and then subtract it from your total cholesterol and you want a very low number. So if you've seen that number going down, you're on the right track. Right. But Dr. Barry, I believe his cholesterol is like well over 300. Now in standard like diet, doctors would freak out about that. They sure would. And that guy's healthy as a horse. Yeah. Right. The problem with LDL and the problem with high LDL is when you're also eating all the sugar, that is when that and the cholesterol, that's when all that stuff turns bad, but you need cholesterol. People forget your body will, you need at least 3000 milligrams of cholesterol a day. If you don't eat it, your body's going to make it. Yeah. So that's just something to remember. Uh, back, he said, adequate protein is so, so important. Started taking a collagen supplement. Couldn't hurt. Yeah. Collagen doesn't hurt, but also make sure you're eating a lot of good, healthy protein because a lot of collagens aren't complete proteins. There's right. usually something missing in there. So you need to be eating just good, healthy protein, get your seafood. You can eat some salmon, you know, crab, even like shrimp is super high in protein. And I love shrimp. Uh, Gail said frog legs. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said frog legs are amazing. Matreya said they're delicious. Uh, let's see. Carmen said, thanks for the suggestion, Chris. Living in a house with a normie is hard when he's is. paying for the groceries, but the tuna and the salmon sounds doable. I love that. Yeah, because it is hard. And I mean, we're so proud of you for pushing through that because we know that that's, that's a difficult really decision to do that. Like, mm -hmm. I'm really proud of you. Christopher said, I have more frozen frog legs left. I just thought those in the air fryer were frozen. I'm, I've never seen fro frozen fro uh, frog legs. Well, don't go looking for them. Yeah, where do I get them? No. I absolutely want those. You the better, only problem is, is I can't hide them from them. She knew what they were as soon as she saw the picture. You're gonna have to cut it up and then like make it look like something else. 
Make it look like cut up chicken or Renee something. Renee said, I can't get past the memory of dissecting frogs and the phantom formaldehyde smell. Th oh my gosh, I am right there with you. Yes, as soon as I'm, I'm hearing you read that, I can smell it. Yeah. And we had um, a thing where we had to, we had our same frogs that we were dissecting for like a really long time. Like it was, it, we started before a Christmas break and then we had to finish up after Christmas break. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, that was way long. That so was too long. I took a lot of medical courses in college because I was actually pre-med and was going to be going to medical school. But I opened up my mother's medical school books, who graduated from medical school in 1967. Did you have to take gross anatomy? I took a different courses, like dissecting courses and stuff. Her medical books, you know, I talk about when I was in college, 1990. You still smelled the formaldehyde books in her medical books from 1967. You could smell it on the pages. You still smell it. And like you just smelled it. And she, I remember her telling me that like everybody knew when you were in gross anatomy because you, you smelled they like it. ran away from you because you just smelled like formaldehyde forever. Wow. Okay, so side note, I don't want to smell like formaldehyde, but one of my favorite smells on earth is the library. I absolutely love library smell. If library smell was a Yankee candle, I would absolutely get it. Where's that hat? Where, Mr. Where's, the oh, get your mug. Get your mug. It's so got my lipstick on it. That's okay. Nobody cares about that. They they saw a video with me with a giant booger for the whole ending of the video. Yes. Did anybody notice that? We were waiting for comments so on that. I'm so sorry. So so our mood stocking video and I was I'm editing like it and I'm like huge. How did nobody notice the 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 booger hanging out of my nose because <laughs> it was, it was so, so gross. cold. You're so, so gross. So on our way over here, we stopped. There's something called Harvest Host, and um, Harvest Host is like basically golf courses wineries farms different things like that where you can stay overnight on the property for free. for free so we came over and we found this place in frostproof florida and it's called mr chris's coffee gallery and they have a website and it's actually mr 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 chris's coffee gallery.com and uh, the guy actually worked for disney and universal studios so he's got all kinds of memorabilia in there and he fresh roasts all of his coffee. He travels the world. He fresh roasts his coffee. And when you go there to drink the coffee, it's a week old. I mean, it's yeah. that. I mean, it was delicious. Again, I don't like black coffee. And this stuff was so good. And he's in the middle of working on the bourbon barrel coffee. Which I'm very excited about. But he had Ethiopian brand, Brazilian blend. He had uh, ones from Mexico. I think the Mexico one was like the best. That was really, best. really good. And I, all I thought to myself was like, I wish Shelly was here. I want to drink coffee with Shelly. Like, I think she'd like that place. It, it was really, Missed. it was really good. But he Shelly. had, he converted this old... 1912 railroad station into this it's it's kind of like i don't know if it's a dry area um but when you go in it's almost like what you would have in a bar but it's for coffee and they open up at 6 a.m they close at like 4 p.m but they have like live music and bands, bands sometimes karaoke sometimes they night. open up at night just for that and people come and sit coffee but he's got a reading room where you can just go and sit and, and read a book He's got a music room where you can go and sit and listen to old 45, yeah. you know, records. Pick I mean, out a 45 from his collection and then just sit there, drink your coffee and. And people just come listen. in. So he's, he's even come up with this like room where he grinds your beans for you. And then you go and pick out whatever method you want to make your coffee, like whether it be a pour over or a drip or whatever like that. And he's like, I even, he, he's got these things. They look like old beakers. It looks like a science experiment. It really does. And he basically, what you do is you fill the top with ice, you put the grounds in the bottom, and then he's got it in the sun, and the sun melts the ice, which forces the ice to drip over the coffee and then drip down through. And they're like, it's the most delicious cold brew coffee you're ever going to have. But the only problem is- It takes four hours. It takes four hours. And he's like, I am more than happy for you to just sit here and do nothing and watch it for four hours he's while like, you read a book. He's like, come hang out for four hours and read a book and like go sit in the swing. And, and I was just like, wow. I mean, you're used to kind of getting the bums rush. Yeah. Now, Becky, different places. we did find where we want to move to, by the way, because Prosper. this place is awesome. But it was funny. We're talking to this lady who's like a historian. And she's like, now, if you do want to move here, 
I want to let you know, if you look on the books right now, our crime rate is way up. And we're like, okay, why? Like, why? Like, this is like the orange capital of Florida. Like, this is where all the orange picking happens. In fact, my grandfather actually, my grandfather and grandmother lived in Frostproof, Florida for a while. And he picked oranges for a living. $7 a week he made. $7 $7, $7 a, week. a week. And your great grandfather actually built the railroad that went through the town. That was the craziest part is because yes. So, so they had all kinds of pictures of the railroad being put in and all of the crews that were working on the railroad. And I'm pretty sure that my great grandfather is in one of those pictures so because awesome. he was actually part of putting the railroad in there. So back to this, back to this comment. So she goes, yeah, our crime rates were way up. She's like, so a few months ago, we had an incident where these three people came up to buy something. And, and a dispute over they, money. They had a dispute over a car part, and they killed the three people that were selling him. So you had now the three people, three people committed. It was, it was really one murder, but like all together. All together. Three people committed three, bad guys, three murders, three but victims. one person. So it was like, so it it skyrocketed. Their all three percentage. people were in jail within 24 hours because the sheriff up here is really crazy. Right. So she's In a good like, way, I guess. Now, and I'm like, well, okay. So she's like, but it really elevated our crime rate because we have not had a murder in Frostproof since 1950. 1950. And I'm like, that's 70 years. We're from South Florida, right? They were like, you know, <laughs> it, it was crazy. Yeah, really awesome. Uh, Jennifer said, I missed that. Who has keto bricks? Oh, Keith has the keto bricks. Uh, Sherry said, I've been making the pancakes with cream cheese. It's like the only thing I can eat. Oh, well, I'm glad you have that though. Rhonda said, Joe, is your custard included with the recipes on the keto chow site? I don't know if Chris and Miriam ever put it up there, but if you go to two crazy ketos.com, go up to our recipes, go down in there and click on keto chow and you will see the keto chow custard. Um, he said, I will eat all meat. If it flies, it dies. If it hops, it drops. Oh my gosh. I love that. Um, I'll say Chris put that up there Thanks, already. Chris. Sherry said, when I get off carnivore, I'm going back to keto jam. That's fun on car carnivore. What are some of your favorite things that you're eating on carnivore? Christopher said, my doctor asked me how many eat eggs I eat a day right after I got done eating two omelets a day, eight a day. He asked if I was adding veggies. Nope, butter and meat. He was so confused. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I Keto Technician had um, a, a picture up, uh, Jason, of um, a big giant omelet that he had with cheese. It just looks so stinking good today. So Matreya said, let Joe or one of the others have them. I definitely don't need any keto bricks. I have a ton of keto bricks. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing a giveaway of some keto bricks that they just sent me for free. As soon as we get back home. So yeah, we'll probably do it on keto on the couch. Yeah. Um, Liz said, I got a keto mojo for Christmas. I nice. had a hard time getting enough blood to fill the strip. Lance it on my four on a four. My hands are usually cold. Is that why? Yeah. So run your hands under some warm water for a little while. I have the same problem. And uh, I do too, especially like right now I'd get like no blood. So yeah, go run them under some hot water for a little while. Yeah. Christopher said, I love hollandaise. The avocado sauce the kids made today's video is really gross. Oh, <laughs> I just love seeing your kids. They're so um, awesome. Oh, Miriam is going to bed. Good night. Um, let's see. Christopher said, first time I've seen a doctor in three years, 150 pounds lighter, and all my blood wow. work was great. He wanted to know what happened. Then he looked up keto. He looked up keto brick when seeing my wrist. More confusion. Yeah. Well, and and it is right. It. What upset my mom when she went back to the doctor after losing, you know, a bunch of weight is he didn't like how she was losing it. And she was like, but I lost it. Like, right. you, you, why can't you be happy for me? Like, it's very upsetting because you really do want your doctor to be a cheerleader for you. And they've been, you know, if someone's been asking for a really long time, please lose the weight. Like, you need to lose the weight. And you finally get it off. And they're like, yeah, but I don't like that. I know. I, I had the same experience too. Mm -hmm. And it's very discouraging, but just keep pushing on through. Cause I remember it, it was like a motivator for me too. Cause I was so angry. But after I'd lost uh, a bunch of the weight, the doctor just looked at me and said, yeah, but you're, you know, in that uh, yo-yo dieter type thing where you'll probably gain it all back and more. And I thought, 
Right. How can you say remember, that to me? I remember me. her coming home and she was so upset. So I'm like, hurtful. new doctor now. Yeah, it was just, you know, you just want your doctor to be on your side. Steph said, I'm finding to keep up with my water that I'm actually having no cravings, which is odd, but glad. That is awesome. Yeah, a lot of times when you are, you're thinking you're hungry, you're either thirsty or you need some salt. Uh, Bessa, does the raw egg change the flavor of keto chow? I don't notice a difference. I don't notice a difference at all. I mean, egg white itself doesn't have much of a taste and the egg yolk just becomes your fat and it is very creamy. It, 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 it changes the texture. Fluffier. Yeah. It changes the texture a little bit. Yeah. Um... Christopher said, because how good of shape I was in and how my local, my cholesterol was, and that was, I was eating all the foods I wasn't supposed to be eating. He told me not to change anything I was doing. Uh, he said, but the look on his face, pulling up a keto brick site and seeing that it was 82% 82 fat, fat was pretty funny. I bet. That is, that's a hard sell. And a lot of times um, people will come back to us and say, like, isn't keto brick expensive? for it being small. Mm -hmm. But the, the issue is find something else that size that is a thousand calories. Yeah, I was talking to Robert about that the other day. And, <laughs> and I said to him, you know, people, you think about a thousand calories and you know, people, I see people say, well, keto brick is expensive at $6 and 50 cents. If you buy the multi, if, if you buy the single brick, yes, it's expensive. It's like $12 a brick. Cause you're paying for a lot of shipping. Right. Um, but I, it's the same thing we said with, you know, keto chow. When you break it down at six dollars and fifty cents, whatever works out to be for a thousand calories, where are you going to get perfect keto macros with healthy ingredients with that many calories for six dollars and fifty cents? Well, and I, you know, when it was when we were doing like a keto brick challenge, I ate like one and a half keto bricks was about my what what I would would eat. Well, that's nine dollars. Yeah. To to buy to get all of your food in perfect ratio for nine dollars i think is very challenging for the day even if you're eating like all just good eggs right. and butter well you may be around I, I, it's funny you say the eggs so i just figured it out so to get a thousand calories in eggs which and it would not be perfect keto macros that would be like a one-to-one -one ratio right okay you'd need to eat 14 eggs so i guess sounds like a good day to me if you ate it's actually almost 15 eggs but if you ate like just the cheap 69 cent a dozen eggs. There right? you go. Okay, yeah, but the problem is you're missing a lot of nutrition if you're eating the cheaper eggs. So now if you start eating a better egg, you're kind of up there, but that is, you you know, that's a lot of eggs too. Well, that's going to be about $6. That's going to be about $6, yeah. Yeah. You know, now if you want to go to a store, like I said, I we don't eat fast food much. And we'd gone and gotten that Five Guys for that Keto Chub video. And when I saw what I got, and how much it costs, it makes me appreciate things like Keto Chow or Keto Brick even more. What did you guys think about the fact that we could not tell the difference in taste between that yes. Impossible Burger and did it, the Did you guys all say the Impossible Burger video today? And and have you tried an Impossible Burger? I, it's amazing. I mean, I, it's amazing. I, I would never eat it again, but it's amazing that you cannot tell the difference in the taste. I mean, but it is six net carbs per burger but, and it's a science project so they have put a lot of energy into like fooling your taste and then getting the protein and fat ratio exactly so they've like they've they've made a pretend cow basically and they did achieve it but at what cost i mean that laundry list of ingredients was incredible um Let's see. Becky said, my hubby's co-workers have sent photos to him with them roasting iguanas. Ooh, yeah, because they're all dying right now. They're falling out of trees right yeah, now. Yeah, because it's so cold. He said, your last 2KK video with the Silly Impossible Burger should have been part of a Fear Factor stuff. You are not kidding about but that. But then it wasn't, I mean, I've heard that it wasn't bad. But after we tried the Beyond Meat Burger, I was a little terrified but somebody did actually message us today saying that they had heard that the, they had to change the formulation for the fast food ones because, and the fast food ones are better, but they couldn't cook them properly or freeze them or something. I don't know. Yeah. But it was very weird. It was, it was strange and, and a little bit frightening. Gail said she noticed it and, and that, but she didn't want to be the one to point out my booger. Bless your heart, Gail. Thank you. 
Um, let's see. Christmas and my wife's birthday is the 26th. Oh, oh that's in a couple weeks. Uh, I got some dessert recipes I got to try for her and order some stuff from Just Made Keto. She wants a lot of desserts. That is awesome. I think she'll really enjoy the Just Made Keto. Of course, if you've got Christopher making cheesecakes for you, like yeah. I can't imagine anything being better than that. Christopher said, I'm, I'm scared to watch the Impossible Burger. I think it'll make me mad. But again, you can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference in taste and you can't tell the difference in look. They've even drawn on lines. Yeah. Um, Ron said, I don't have an off switch. I got back in line for a second dose of Love's Burgers. Aw. Chris said, just learned a one-time uh, one speed, speed CD. Starts out an uh, inside diameter of around 500 RPM and slows down to approximately 200 RPM while the four, 45 RPM speed is constant. That's interesting. That is interesting. He had quite the collection. And actually, we found out that he was part of a band i believe the name was duck and they were actually um on the same stage uh as some of the other uh bands the day that disney world opened in in 1971 wow he was on the stage there i thought that was really cool he plays the guitar and the piano Lisa said, Hubs bought me Maria Emmerich's 30 day cleanse cookbook. And I'm so excited to try some of the recipes and contemplating trying the plan. She is brilliant yeah, and such a good cook. So I'm excited to see which is your favorite recipe. Uh, oh, oh Christopher said the avocado sauce is awesome. awesome not, not gross. gross. I've been eating it. Almost there. I could have sworn I saw gross. I know me too. Lisa said, oh, got to run and pick up my son from work. I'll be listening to the live in the car. We love you, Lisa. Uh, Becky said, doctors are jerks. If not, <laughs> they're making money. The pill pushers and they are against it. Um, oh, thank you, Jesus, for my very supportive doctor. Yeah, if you've got a doctor that's partnered with you um, with this keto lifestyle and they're on board and you, it's such a blessing. It makes all the difference in the world. Elvira said, I just joined the Keto Chow Club. Hello. I can't wait for February 1st. I have 10 pounds left to lose. Yeah, so Keto Chow's got a new club where you can go and get a 30 or 60 day. And um, basically, it's a surprise of like what you're going to get. So you get a big bag and then you get some little bags, the little sample packets. You're going to save 10% off of the first month. I think it's 12% on the second month and then 15% on the third month. And they're going to kind of surprise you with what you get and then also there's always something special like if there's swag. a new flavor or maybe a piece of swag or something like that so there's a link down below it won't get you any money off but it will help support the channel if you use that link to order it you know what i like none of the surprises will be frog legs there will never there's zero chance i'm still hoping that for he's gonna send you a big fat bag of frog legs. i'm waiting for in fact i saw that chris sent me a package the other day but it didn't say what it was it was Is your just frog like, legs in it it's just said said you have a package coming from keto chow okay and i'm really crossing my fingers hoping that it's peanut butter and jelly keto chow. it's not <laughs> peanut butter and jelly keto chow what's wrong with this man i could be hoping uh, Liz said, change your life. Chicken in bone is it chicken is bone in thighs, skin on, peel it back dry, inside out, season all sides and under skin, salt, garlic, 50 minutes at 500. Amazing. Skin is better than potato chips and affordable. Wow. Yes. I mean, anytime I cook chicken, Rachel, she dives in for the, I usually have to eat skinless chicken breast because she Always. takes all my skin. Always. My favorite thing is the skin off the and chicken. And we heat everything up. So like when i'm feeling lazy we'll go to costco and yes i know there's dextras injected into that but still you're feeling a little lazy you get a costco rotisserie chicken come home put everything in the air fryer to heat it up get it a little bit more crispy she comes over before i can get out of the he bedroom she doesn't even have a chance she's ripped all of the skin off and eaten the entire the kids are getting legs with no skin yep. wings with no Nothing skin she's skin eating on. all the skin off of the chicken <laughs> That is awful. I am a bad person. You're not a bad person. You're just eating the best part. I know. It's a, it's, I'm ba that's bad. My poor kids. They would they would enjoy skin also, but no, mama gets it. Uh, Chris said the first keto chow club box is going to be awesome. Probably won't have the cool bo blue box, but we're starting off with something cool. I like that. People are going to get mad that they didn't get it. <laughs> 
Um, Becky said I would consider mushrooms carnivore. They taste so dang good, just like a steak. I'm I don't know. Not carnivore. I, I don't know if I can. Uh, I don't have a problem with eat. I don't like them, but I like them. Carnivore. But uh, but steak for the win. Uh, remember, mushrooms do have carbs in them too. Mm -hmm. Um, let's. Christopher said I'll eat an iguana, but I won't eat an Impossible Burger. <laughs> it's good to have boundaries, right? Steph said, I would be thrilled to death to never eat anything from outside of my home ever again. I'm kind of with you, with the exception of, you know, I like somebody else making me chicken wings sometimes. And then that prime rib from Texas Roadhouse yeah. is like my love language. But yeah, other than that, I, that was a big eye opener, more eye opening than that review was thinking, I really honestly thought that a Whopper used to be the best hamburger that there was, yep. that it was a delightful treat. And I couldn't imagine anything better than that flame boiled hamburger from Burger King. And literally any hamburger that we've met like at our home that is like sale, you special, you know what I mean? It is a million times better somebody, than the Whopper. Somebody commented on the video and wanted to know what is the best meat uh, fast food burger it's wendy's so wendy's has the freshest meat when it comes to fast food i do not consider five guys i'm curious what everybody thinks i do not consider five guys fast food you gotta wait because you gotta wait fast food is you're gonna drive in and you're done in and two now. or three minutes so when you have to wait the five ten minutes for five guys five guys is a restaurant it's, to me it's it's not bad yeah but it's not fast food to me yeah you know they don't have a most of the time i, don't, I haven't seen one yet that has a drive-through like fast food restaurants gotta have a drive-through I feel like that's a good like. I don't consider even Chipotle like fast food. It's a step above fast food, and that's where I'm yeah. gonna put Five Guys. By the way, we will have the we will try the Chipotle uh, California uh, cauliflower rice once we get out of uh, our month long fast. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Chris messaged me the other day, which I'd I'd heard about it a little while ago. That he's like, oh, did you know that Buffalo Wild Wings has cauliflower like? Called buffalo cauliflower now. I did not know that. Well, you don't want it. So it's breaded it's like a ridiculous amount of carbs. What? Yeah, because it's not like cauliflower breaded chicken. It's breaded cauliflower that's been fried. And then they put their buffalo sauce on it. Now, I did, like, since we're talking about fast food places, is it, am I correct that Red Robin is offering not only like this, the fry thing, but that they're doing yes. unlimited broccoli. So we were in a discord for uh, five to go and they were talking about red Robin and stuff. And red I'm like, I've Robin. never been to red Robin. Yum. And so somebody commented, obviously like you probably, you know, you're going to get a burger, but the greatest thing about red ramen is the unlimited basket of fries. And so somebody else commented, like, Joe would probably like it because you can su you can supplement. Instead of getting unlimited fries, they will give you unlimited broccoli. Well, I would definitely call the restaurant before I went to the restaurant. But that's a very interesting change up. I like that. Uh, Matreya said, I get it. If someone has a budget of, say, under $2 a day, they aren't going to be able to have things like bricks and chow, but they can still have keto. It's just harder. Yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely do keto on a budget. We did it with the a lot of ch the cheap, cheap hot dogs yep. and very cheap eggs. And you we can did buy fine. cheap ground beef. You go buy the log of ground beef for like $2 a pound from Walmart or Sam's and eggs. And then, you know, you go... You, you know, we go into Walmart and you go down and you find the, you know, discount stuff like, hey, this has got to be sold or frozen within 24 hours. And that's honestly how we buy a lot of our meat. And if you haven't seen it, because it's in some old videos, we've done some keto on a budget mm -hmm. where it's like, you do some more of those. feed your whole family for, for less than five bucks. Um... The other thing, so April said, I can't really afford it, but it's worth it to me. Now, the other thing is, is what you will notice. And this is something that we noticed because when I recommended to Rachel that we switch from 79 cent a dozen eggs up to $5 a dozen eggs, she was like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> but what we started noticing was as we did keto more, we were spending less money on food. 
right. because we weren't buying the junk. Because let's face it, when we were all fat and we were eating potato chips, potato chips ain't cheap. They're not cheap. Right? You know, Seriously. cookies, they're not cheap. They're not. I mean, now there's some stuff, some of the junk cereal? food is that, when we lived Crop on cereal? yakisoba noodles yeah, those and are buy cheap. one, get one free and then use the buy one, you know, the buy one, get one free coupon and we'd come home with like 300 yakisoba noodles for no money. But let's just face it. Even what were what was happening when we were we gained 50 pounds when we were eating it and we were not on keto and we did not even know better right. about anything there was not a moment that we were scanning that in the grocery line that i was thinking that was actual food right i mean we were filling our stomachs with it but i knew even then there was no nutrition and this is a salt box and not a good salt box yeah. with just like junk noodles but what we've noticed is we started noticing that when we stopped buying all the junk food and the six dollar like starbucks and all that yeah. stuff all of a sudden we had more money for buying healthier foods and then next thing you knew we were buying much higher quality like buying our steaks at whole foods buying pasture raised eggs and our we were still spending less money on food now than we were before not to mention, I was no longer spending $150 a month on arthritis medication and painkillers. And we weren't having cavities anymore. Yep. I stopped having to go to um, the the acne doctor. Yep. I mean, it was amazing. I have never been to a dentist where I haven't had to have at least three fillings and then also usually a root canal or something like that. I have really, really, really bad teeth. Since I was like 10 years old, no matter what I would do, I had bad teeth, which is why... I've got like an upper and a lower removable bridge and it's like 14 of my teeth. I mean, it's like, I have really bad teeth. The only dental work that I've needed to do in the last three years, aside from like that normal scraping You're that cleaning. they want to do is they want to remove, they want to switch out one of my three tooth bridges. And because just over the years before keto, the gums have receded and they're like, it's time to get rid of that bridge. It's old. And I said to them, when I do it, the bridge is coming out completely and we're just going to tack onto my removable partials, but no cavities in three years like that right there. The what? amount of money I would spend at the dentist. How much is a root canal? Yeah. It's like a couple thousand dollars by the time you get everything done. It's crazy. Steph said, Joe, have you researched Boca Sweet? Uh, we are taking, uh, talking about it in discord and wondering about it. I have not tried Boca Sweet. Um, I know that serious keto, Steve loves that stuff. I feel like it's going to be something similar to like using like soluble corn fiber or something like that, but I have not messed with it. I've never tasted it. I don't even know what it tastes like. I just know it's like basically a liquid fiber. That's about all I know about it. I haven't even looked because I haven't had time much. We haven't watched much of like a lot of keto stuff lately. So I don't even know if Steve ever did a glucose test on it, but I am curious if it raises people's glucose. And if it does also, I feel like it would be the same thing as like a soluble corn fiber where it raises some people and not other people. Like yeah. soluble corn fiber doesn't affect me at all. Rachel, it affects her a little bit, like, you know, up five points, which is nothing. I mean, that's really takes not a spike. me off that like you don't have a problem. Renee said, I respect vegans who make a choice out of animal issues, yeah. but those who think it's healthier yet eat impossible meats, ew. That's what we say. I, where I want to get into vegan bashing, but if, if somebody's a vegan because they love animals. That's their belief system. I, I completely can get on board. Super I just can't get on board that. when people tell me that veganism is better for the environment because it's not. Because all of the science foods actually takes a lot of like, gasoline to make them all to make all the soy and all that other stuff it's not, and it's not healthy for your body it's not good for the earth yeah and now if you're eating vegan and like literally eating like plant-based whole food where you are eating like just vegetables that you're growing that is healthy it's hard to get some of the vitamins because you're not getting the fats yeah but when you get into all of these eating the just eggs and the impossible burgers that stuff's not healthy for anybody yeah um Elvira said it was a frozen booger. It was a frozen booger. Liz said frog flavored keto chow. Ugh. Okay, make the peanut butter and jelly one before Caboodle that. Caboodle said, notice Joe uh, waits until Miriam heads out before he brings up peanut butter and jelly keto chow. He knows what's right. He knows he's going to get in trouble. April said, can you send me my keto chow by drone? It may be coming soon, right? I noticed that like Amazon was has been talking more and more about that. I, I am really afraid that I'm going to get hit in the head with a package. 
Is that a concern for you? No. What if a package falls from the sky and knocks you in the head? Gail said, Joe, did you say the whole put the whole egg or just the egg yolk in your keto chow? I made up one tonight for a meal tomorrow. Was thinking about adding an egg in it before I drink it. Teenage so mutant. Ninja I do the whole turtles. egg because most of the protein is in the egg white. Um, but we have I have done it with just the yolk to get as an increased fat. Uh, April said, please can we talk about something besides frog life? Amen. I'm all about that. Um, April loves Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse is so good. Even Chris actually turned us on to Texas Roadhouse. Thank you for that, Chris. And um, also, when we went the last time, because it was for his birthday, and you can get like a little, um, you know, side thing for your birthday, their ribs you can get with no sauce at all, and they were delicious. Yes. Yeah, because they gave me a free coupon. I'm just excited to go back there because they were having a deal on gift cards. Has anybody ever done this? They were having a deal on gift cards Christmas. where if you bought $100 in gift cards, you got a $20 bonus card. And so, yeah, we bought some gift cards and said, we'll just use the gift cards to pay for our meals. And then I've got $20 bonus cards. Roll it over. Got it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm buying a gift card for myself. Happy Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Joe. <laughs> Um, he said the best fast food burger is five guys. Then what a burger. We don't have what a burger. We don't have what a burger. Um, case wise. I definitely think five guys is better than uh, Wendy's, but as far yeah. as meat wise and a true fast food, like Wendy's McDonald's, you know, Drive Burger through. King, that kind of thing. Wendy's has the best quality beef. Yes. Um, Christopher said, and I agree. Wendy's has the best fast food burger. Hardee's is the best toppings. I think. Ooh, yeah, we don't have a Hardee's no. local either. My cousins, though, in the middle of the state, they have some Hardee's and they love them some Hardee's. We had Hardee's when we were in and when I was in Virginia. So uh, Gail said, I've been here for four years and I've not had a fast food burger. I would like to try Five Guys one day. It's very nice. That and Fud Rockers. So I like Fud Rockers too. Because yeah. you can, you know, have your own toppings and and that you can get a decent sized burger there. You can even get an ostrich burger there. Yeah. So uh, Chris said, yeah, so the, the cauliflower, the buffalo cauliflower, 52 total carbs for a small, and it's still fried in beef tallow, so it's not vegetarian. 52 total carbs. Yeah, because they're selling it as, like, vegetarian. Like, you know, you can get, the, instead of getting chicken wings, you can get cauliflower. Let's make some good choices, people. Joe said, honestly, the Whoppers are good. While working at Burger King in the IT uh, parties, uh, they would let us raid the company Burger King in the cafeteria, and then uh, we barbecue those things. They were really good. I nice. still think they're good, but yeah. they're just not what Rachel remembered them to be. I, I just, I had, like, such a high esteem of those. So, yes, uh, Matreya and Jessica Bull said Red Robin will give you bottomless broccoli. And That's, they said they've always had it. I had no idea that was a thing. Steph said we need you in Discord more. Yeah, we're trying to get in there a little bit more. Especially because now one thing is, is like after February, our camping is going to probably have to cut down yeah. because we're supposed to start lacrosse season. It's going to be interesting. Some of the rules that are coming out and how they want us to officiate, like no face-offs is going to be interesting. Um, so Rachel will be able to be in the discord more and then I'll probably be able to be in there a little bit more. I'll, too. So I'll, we're trying to get in there more. I'll be a lacrosse widow. They You're call be a lacrosse them. widow. Yeah. Cause she won't see me at all. And we've always been short of officials. And from what I understand, we're going to be even shorter on officials this year. So who knows how many games I'll be doing. A lot. Um, uh, great. Gail said, Rachel, I did hear that also about the broccoli at red Robin. Yeah. I had no idea. Steph said, we went to Red Robin in Phoenix years ago. It was a waste of money. Uh-oh. And I know some people are like, I don't even want to be around a place that's got bottomless fries, like, because it may trigger me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think that's the place that... I don't think Miriam, Miriam can, go, can there go there. Because they always celebrated getting pregnant there. So it was kind of like, there's such a warm... That was a lot. You know, emotion that went with that. Um, Chris said, we just discovered a sort of local butcher that makes meats with yummy stuff wrapped in bacon and held together in a meat net thing designed to be smoked. What? That sounds amazing. That is awesome. So Blaine said, I think that Steve did a test, but I don't remember for sure. I'll dig through if someone wants me to. Yeah. 
Uh, Kabuto said the fiber and chug zero spikes my blood glucose almost 50 points from just eating one of those dark chocolates they sold this holiday season. So does that. Wow. Yeah. It's, you've got to check this kind of stuff like on your own to see where you're at because other people may not have a problem and then you may be super sensitive to it. It definitely frustrates me that Joe usually can get by with stuff that I cannot get by with. Shell said, I have Boca Sweet in sugar package if you and Rachel want to try it. Yeah, I'd yeah, like to try it. I didn't know. I thought it only came liquid, so I didn't know that you can get it granular. Uh, Ron said, maybe 2 Cake and Keto Chow can get together on a video and discuss ingredients. Sure. Uh, Blaine said, I don't. Oh, I read that one. I, I don't know if it reposted twice. Chicken feet, Liz says. We've tried chicken feet, but it is alarming. And um, it's got a weird, like, chewiness for me. And now that we have chickens ourselves, I don't know that I could want to eat them. It's funny. I was in Costco Because I'm always holding Anthony, their little feet. And they had a tomahawk steak. And he's like, I want one of these so bad. I'm like, you realize that the tomahawk steak is the biggest ripoff in the butcher industry, right? I always, it always makes me think of Heath. Because he's got a picture of him. Yeah, but it is the biggest. And most butchers will tell you if they're honest with you, it's like the biggest ripoff. It's they so charge cool. like twice as much money for that thing, and it's fifty percent bone. Now I was excited to see that they're selling the giant turkey legs here. Yes, at the show because there's a lot of midway type foods here, and I like that as an option. And we did find was it um, BJ's or Sam's Club? Check your local. Um, place if you're a part of a you know one of those like costco where they were selling them and you could just make them at home yeah yeah and i mean the the giant turkey legs and of course it was a fraction of the price because it's like ten dollars a turkey leg here renee said texas hole in the wall joints have ruined me for places like roadhouse or logan's or any of those i, I agree bet. I bet that's true. I love hole in the wall restaurants. Me that, too. that was always my thing. Like breakfast when, joints. I would were go always to the best. I was always like, I want the greasiest place where you have to wait two hours to eat your meal and there's like four chairs in the whole place. That has the best breakfast food. Yes, right? they do. You know, that was always what I wanted. And it's the same thing. Like, you know, you want Mexican food. You're going to go down and you're going to go find just one of those roadside stands, you know? Some of the best ones that we've found, it's like it's another type of business. And then they just happen to be selling food in the back. Like we have to give, you know, a relative a job. So like we're really selling cell phones here, but like we also, if you would like some, you know, Mexican food, it just happens to be in the back. And that's usually the best place. So Elvira said, I heard Fuddruckers were going out of business. <gasps> that's sad. And Matreya said, she said, they think the one by her went out of business a couple of years ago. Wow. So I know that they're not all over the place. I know there's one here in Apopka. There's one down by Joe in Pembroke Pines. There's a one in Orlando, mm -hmm. they're not as big as they were. Yeah, they used to be huge. Um, Chris said, Ali, I would have gotten way more than 52 total carbs if I drank the diet soda refill that Buffalo Wild, Wild Wings waiter gave me because it was not diet soda. But oh. they had just syrup. Yeah, he sent me a picture of this. Chris has glucose strips and he brings them around. And so if you get a soda, you can dip a glucose test strip in there. And it, if there's sugar in there, it's going to turn gonna, colors. It's going to register. So that's kind of a, a good tip because I got to tell you, we probably need to do that because if you do get a diet soda when you go out to eat, it, you know, you just don't know. They're handing it and you're at least going to get probably a sip or two in before you're like, dang it. I know what this is. This ain't diet at all. Denise said, uh, Rachel is short so she can do the games. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Chris and Miriam cannot go to Red Robin. Too many associated memories. And good ones, too. It's not always a bad memory, but it's a good memory. And Ladybug said, um, I do enjoy Red Robin burgers, but the broccoli is so bland. Oh. Always get it to go and add Chef Chamois garlic butter to it. Chef Chamois garlic butter. D has anybody not tried that yet? Because if you haven't, do yourself a favor and get you some of that. They come in, like, the tubs. I love the, the part, is it the Asiago? It's like a Parmesan garlic. Mm. It is so stinking good. And the sour cream and onion, crazy delicious. Chris and Miriam is so extremely baby hungry. You'd think two sets of twins and two singletons wouldn't cure someone. Now she wants grandbabies. Aw, I don't blame her. Babies are 
awesome. I don't want any grandbabies right now. Babies are awesome. Uh, he said, Cowabunga, great shirt tonight, Rachel. Oh, thank you. Who's your favorite? Are you a, are, are you Raphael? Who do you like? Donatello? Who's your favorite a Ninja Turtle? Elvira said, grandbabies is the reward for not killing your teenagers. Amen to that. I, the one reason I do want grandbabies is so that I can spoil them rotten and then send, send them, them back home, home to their parents, to our sons. And then be like, ha, see what you did to us all those years. And by spoiling, we don't mean sugaring them up. No, we just mean spoiling them. Send them home with a drum set. <laughs> send them home with a tuba. Any toy that requires lots of batteries and makes lots of noises. I can just see our children saying like, mom and dad, you sent home yet another Elmo toy. Yeah. To creep out our entire family. Renee said, I was talking to the doc that made my patient's leg brace about making them for dogs. He said he used to make braces for an emu farmer because they're they made standing up and over forty thousand dollars for a mating pair. Crazy. Crazy. That is amazing. Wow. Oh, it's 945 already. Oh, sorry. Uh, Carmen said, I bought myself allulose for Christmas. I was surprised at a zero aftertaste. Yeah, the biggest problem with al uh, allulose, it's only 70% of sweeter sugar, so you need a lot of it yeah. to get a good sweetness, which You're is like usually it. why you want to mix it with maybe a little bit of monk fruit or even stevia. That'll bring up, if you if you mix it with the right amount of stevia, it'll bring up the sweetness without having that aftertaste that stevia gives you. Yes. Um. Let's see. Christopher said the glucose test for sodas works great. I wish I had mine with me more. Yeah. It, it That's just so disheartening. And at one time I went through the drive-thru with, with Caleb and he was really trying to like get off of just regular Coke and he was getting a diet Coke and we went through and they gave him regular Coke. And I remember him instantly being like upset, like so upset because he was trying so hard and I went in to exchange it. And the, the cashier, I don't normally get upset, but like the cashier was like, this is no big deal. Like, stop crying about it. And I was like, what if he was no kidding diabetic mm -hmm. and this was a major issue? Right. Like, I mean, I understand it's an error and people make mistakes. I'm not upset about that. But like, I thought the attitude was like, I, whenever we stinky. go out to eat, I like double and triple check. And I say the way I, I, sure? I, do. I say the waitress and anything, whether we get a soda or just like if, if there's sugar in a salad dressing or something like that, I tell them like flat out, I will have a severe reaction. If you give me something with sugar, like I'm telling you now, I'm going to have a major reaction. I am not lying. I will have a major reaction Yes, and it is going to get me violently ill. So please make sure whatever you're giving me doesn't have sugar. And when you tell them like, this is a medical reason, not like I'm trying to lose weight. they usually will double and triple check. It. We've actually had a waitress that been like, you know what? I'm not sure. I'm going to go back. Yeah. And I thought, wow, we almost, got, we almost got something that she's not sure about. Yeah. Uh, Chad said, the best thing I love about my grandson is I give him anything he wants so that he doesn't cry. Oh, I love it. Yes. Um, he said they bought Chef Shammy from Amazon as we don't have a Sam's membership. Yeah, Sam's Club does sell it. It's delicious. It is so crazy good. Yeah. I think it just it adds a lot of flavor because there's like the seasoning in it. Yeah. Shell, uh, Shell said Raphael with his attitude. Yes. Okay, we are going to get off and get some get some shut eye. Get some shut eye. Get back up in the morning. And um, do it all over again. We really appreciate everybody for checking in and sticking with us tonight. And uh, we hope you guys all have a great night. We love you. Bye. <laughs>